Times of waiting and preparation are never random. They are purposeful for God's plan and God's position so that God can put him in the right place. I put a quote for you on your listening guide of just the hard times of waiting. We don't like waiting. Here's what it says. Spiritual, or excuse me, mature spiritual leadership is forged in the crucible of difficult conversation. The pressure, the pressure of conflicted relationships, the pain of setbacks and the dark nights of the soul. You wanna be a leader? Be careful what you wish for because God is gonna take you through times where your best text is, leadership is awful right now. But that's where it gets formed in that waiting when you don't see the success and you keep walking it out. But we don't like to wait, do we? Do you like to wait? I don't like to wait. When you're at the grocery store and you're standing in line and you see the checker just kind of going over to the register, in your mind, you're thinking, a new register is about to open and that register's for me is who it's for. That's who it's for, for, it's for me. So you take your cart, you just start angling it just a little bit, nobody can really tell. But now you got it ready, you got your feet in the blocks and when that light goes on at that number, that register, that rope goes down, you're gone. In the name of Jesus, banging other carts, right? To get in there because we don't like to wait. Why are all these parking spots filled with somebody else? Where's the one for me? We don't want to wait. We don't want to be there. We don't want to be in charge. It's for somebody. They don't know how busy I am. I got to be someplace. There's something in us with waiting that just has to be crucified, doesn't it? Has to be ended. It's hard to wait. Gen Z statistics show that you think that you're going to become a CEO by age 25. I mean, just burst your bubble right now. Unless you start the company and then you tell the other three people on your staff uh, that you're the CEO, it probably ain't gonna happen. But everybody thinks you're gonna have a million Instagram followers by 20, we're gonna be CEO by 25, we're gonna be a millionaire by 30, and we're gonna retire and just let it all be at that. People have been working 30 years to become an overnight success. And it's a long road of that. Now, if it happens like that, awesome. I, I hope it's great. Be as successful as you possibly can, and I hope you tithe. You know, I mean, that's all I can say, right? It'd be great. But to be able to say, Lord, I'm on the track about pleasing you, not on the track about building my kingdom. Hey, thanks for watching. To find out more about Houston's First, you can subscribe to our channel or you can go to houstonsfirst.org.